human eye is a wonderful feat of evolution. We can see tiny specks and huge mountains. We can see in the dark and we can also see hundreds of shades of bright, vibrant colours. So how does the eye work? The eye contains special cells that receive the incoming light energy and convert it into electrical impulses. These electrical impulses are then relayed along the optic nerve to our brain. So let's have a look at the special parts of the eye that enable us to see. The cornea covers the entire front part of the eye. It is convex shaped and so it bends or refracts incoming light into the lens. The lens is a transparent biconvex flexible structure that focuses light into the retina. If we want to see something close the lens is made to be thicker and when we want to see something further away the lens is made to be thinner. These changes increase or decrease the refraction of incoming light onto the retina. Changing the thickness and curvature of the lens is done by the ciliary muscle contracting and relaxing, which are connected to the lens by suspensory ligaments. The iris is the coloured part of the eye. It is the muscular structure that regulates the size of the pupil, the black opening in the middle of our eyes that controls the amount of light that enters the eye. The iris does this by expanding or contracting depending upon the amount of light present in our surroundings. When there is a lot of light, the iris expands so the pupil becomes smaller and so less light will enter. When there is less light, the iris contracts, making the pupil larger so more light can enter. The colour of our iris depends on how much protein, called melanin, is present and is determined by our genetics. Brown-eyed individuals have more melanin whereas blue-eyed individuals have less. So light enters the eye through the cornea and passes through the pupil onto the lens. The lens refracts light through the vitreous humour to the retina. The retina at the back of the eye contains a thin lining of special cells called photoreceptor cells. There are two types of photoreceptor cells the rod cells and the cone cells. They have distinctive shapes and are sensitive to different kinds of light. We have approximately 120 million rod cells which allow us to see black, white and shades of grey. The rods enable us to determine the shape of objects. As rods are sensitive to reduce light they provide us with night vision and so nocturnal animals have lots of rods. Our 7 million cone cells specifically allow us to see colour. Although these cells can only differentiate between red, green and blue, they all work together so we can see hundreds of different shades of colour. In general, the more cones per unit area of the retina, the finer the detail that can be seen. Where the optic nerve connects to the eye, there are no rod or cone cells. This is known as the blind spot. When light enters the eye, it passes through the cornea, through the pupil and refracts through the lens, across the vitreous humour and focuses an image onto the retina. Light sensitive rods and cones react to specific wavelengths of light and trigger nerve impulses. These impulses are carried through the optic nerve to the visual centres of the brain, where the impulses are organised and interpreted to give us sight as we know it. So there we have the different parts of the eye and how they work together to give us sight. Give these questions a go to test your knowledge. Did you get them right? If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fuseco app as well? Until next time.